Get rid of me. I let that turtle sleep talk me into coming down here when my life is in mortal danger. If I ever get out of this alive, I'll never leave my home sweet home again. How could I have been so silly as to listen to that guy? <laughs> Wings would help me here underwater. <gasps> There's nothing to be done. Nothing at all. I'm locked up here with no way of escape. I must resign myself to my fate. <laughs> Even if, by some mad stroke of luck, these prison walls should come crumbling down and a glowing yellow brick road should suddenly appear and point my way to freedom, how could I ever get home? There's about as much chance of the sky falling as of my ever getting out of here. Well, I'm certainly not going to just sit around waiting to die. There must be a way. There has to be. I've got to put my brain into high gear. Let's see, let's see. Mm, I'll bet that all these fish and creatures who live down here have never seen one of my kind before. Aha! They shall not have my liver. See what that wretched turtle's wearing, the insignia of a minister. He's stolen the job that should actually have gone to you by rights. Ooh. Not only that, he made us look very bad in the king's eyes. Such luck, and his family is definitely lower middle class. Indeed. Guards! Have his majesty's medicine brought in? We have brought the hare into your august presence. May we proceed? Yes. Hmm. Hearken ye all to my words. Norbert Hare, you have been selected for the well-nigh unimaginable honor of donating your liver in order to save the life of our beloved monarch. Could any fate be nobler? You may proceed. <laughs> There is one thing I should mention. What's the matter, Hare? Oh, my, my. Timing is everything. We await your order, sire. Let's get on with it. At once, sire. In the name of his majesty, proceed. Yes, your worship. I, I really do feel I should say something, for his worshipful majesty's good. All right, let's hear it. Whatever it is, it's the last thing you'll ever say. <laughs> so speak up, Remedy, speak up. Unfortunately, Your Majesty, I don't have my liver with me right now. <sighs> you don't? Oh, that is a serious disappointment. <sighs> somebody didn't do their homework. Yeah, somebody slipped up. And we all know who shouldn't have done that, don't we? The moron who took credit for capturing him, that turtle. 
Now our beloved king can't be healed. Oh, my poor heart! My, my poor failing heart! Stop it this instant, all of you! Stop it! Can't you see you're upsetting our king with your incessant mutterings? And you, Hare, stop your lying! Oh, I would never dare to lie to his glorious majesty. If I may be allowed to explain, every morning I drink a large bowl of sparkling spring water. I then eat the petals of 16 different types of health-giving flowers. And for the rest of the day, I do nothing but eat plants and herbs with high medicinal properties. That is why my liver has such remarkable curative powers. But many fierce animals where I live are aware of this. So if I smell danger, I take it out and hide it in a secret place where it is constantly refreshed by running water and warm breezes, and thus is perfectly safe, Your Majesty. Nobody! I repeat, nobody, no living creature is able to take his liver out casually, just like that, wherever he happens to feel like it. You're just hastening your own end with this ridiculous nonsense. Yes. If you don't believe me, then open me up and take a good look. But I beg you to consider. Who will you turn to when you find my liver isn't there? You will have no recourse other than death. Please, Your Majesty, don't be hasty for your own sake. Oh, can you give me any proof of this claim of yours? Well... Uh... Certainly, Your Majesty. Ask the turtle who brought me here. He'll give you the proof. Ah, that turtle again. What proof can there be? We must discover the truth. Just as I thought, the turtle has kept some important information to himself and will come to a bad end. <sighs> His Excellency the turtle is commanded to step forth and answer the questions that will be asked of him. What questions, Remedy? Show your respect, Hare. His Majesty is waiting. May I begin, Your Majesty? Get up with it. Now then, Mr. Turtle, when the tiger attacked me for my liver, did we or did we not hide behind a tree? Huh? What? Was the hare or was the hare not attacked by the tiger for his liver, Turtle? Well, I d d don't know exactly why the tiger was there, sire, b b but it did seem to be looking for the hare, and then the hare said something about his l liver, but I d d don't remember exactly w what. Can't you make a simple statement without stuttering? You fool! Something tells me the king is no longer as happy as he once was about making the turtle a minister and giving him the fairest jewel of the treasury and the star of the sea. What? You heard. You ought to be ashamed, wretch. If I cannot offer you my liver, sire, it is only the turtle's <laughs> fault. He was not honest with me. Had he told me it was needed to heal your majesty, I would have behaved like any responsible citizen and brought it to you with joy in my heart. But your ambassador tricked me. After all, who would not wish? Huh? To save your majesty. Nonsense! What are you saying, eh, Herr? Oh, interesting. What do you say to that, turtle? Yes, Your Majesty, that it's a fabric of lies from Silence. beginning to end. It's... I want to hear no more lies. Mm, I must reflect. Mm, let's see now. Mm. I've got to put my thoughts in order. That's how you solve problems. If Sam has three apples and Simon has four... No, 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 that's not what I mean at all. Where was I? It's the hair, my remedy. Now I can certainly have him opened up, but then if he doesn't have his liver in him, he's dead, and that means I'm dead, too. The king fell for it. I'm sure he did. Now you listen to me. I need to know something important. How could you have forgotten to replace your liver? I didn't forget, Your Majesty, but it's a very delicate undertaking. First, the liver must be exposed to the gentle rays of the rising sun for exactly 18 seconds. Then it must be bathed in cold mint tea. Then the gods must be appeased with sacred music in the background. If I skip a single step, it's suicide for me. Ah, I see. <laughs> There, yeah, the thorny problem. 
I never knew that anyone could take his liver out whenever he felt like it. But you've convinced me. The turtle is going to be stripped of his undeserved ministerial rank, and the stir of the sea goes back into the treasury. To hear is to obey. <laughs> but your majesty, it's not true. I'm the most faithful of all your servants. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>